Hey guys, I'm Jorge, or you can call me George. I'm based in Spain and today I want to take you through every single step I follow in order to create my new reels. Let's get down to it. The first thing I do is I create a new library, all right? That will be a new one. So I'm gonna create it in a folder that I have already created called New Reel. And then within that folder, I have two separate folders called one audio and another one videos. I normally keep my audio files, especially when there's someone talking uh, separate and the videos in a separate folder. So then I just create save, it creates the a library and now I need to export the media. So now I'm just gonna go and look for new real videos and videos. If I scroll, if I open the folder, I will see that there's all different footage that I was talking to Ayla earlier. All right, so now they're all imported into here and what I'm gonna now create is a new project. And so let's just call my stereo reel. Don't need to be longer than this. Vertical video, yep. Resolution, I would normally use this because this is kind of the standard. So I normally just use 30p. Apart from that, I don't change really anything else. I might just leave it as it is. Then I just create a reel, you can see it's a vertical format. One thing that you've noticed is that I use Final Cut Pro instead of what most people used, which is uh, used, sorry, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. And the reason why I do that is because I used to use Adobe Premiere Pro, but uh, it used to crash a lot and it still does. I mean, I, I still have it, but it, it just crashes too much. Once I've got the footage, the other thing that I normally do, I need to find a really suitable soundtrack that I can use as background. This is normally the one I use, which is called Pixabay. Normally, because in this case, I, I went to the place, I know pretty much what I what I do, but if it's someone that is speaking, or if, if there's something else that we're doing, then I normally create something beforehand. Then I normally have a script. What you always need to focus is what do you want to do? Do you want to sell? Do you want to inform? Do you want to just for fun? Yeah, so I, I most likely need to seconds of this. Then I just import it. Here the same. I'm just going to set. Oh, then we also have this one. We also have this one. I think this is better. As you can see, it's 45 seconds. It's way too long. Okay. So what I do now is I add the soundtrack. I'm just going to leave it to 15 seconds. Longer than this is a waste. So that's another thing. Remember reels, unless you really share something that needs to be uh, long, try to keep it something between eight and 15 seconds. More than that is way too much, so. Okay, so let's just do that. So now what I do, as you can see, you've got these waves here. So every wave, or every peak of a wave here is what I'm gonna do the cut. So this is one second. So what I'm doing is I'm just making cuts of one second because I want a very fast transition between all the take here. What I'm gonna do is the following. So this is one second. I'm just gonna break this and right at the end. I'm going to make another cut so I delete that in the middle. So this is the effect that it does. Yeah. And now, actually, here, I can do that. And then keep it to one. So basically, now the transition is a bit longer. So in this case, yep. I don't need more than that. Okay. And this is the one I was telling you about, so we've got this, so it shows that. And then here we do a break. And then I want to reveal that later on. So somewhere around here and right at the end. So so, for that. so these two big chunks are gone. So I don't need them. So well, let's see how it goes. This because this is just repetitive. This looks pretty much as this thing. So I'm just gonna delete this one, that doesn't make sense. In this case, this one. So we just here. It's revealing, okay. Into here, all right. And at the end, I want to show where this used to be, so. Just cut here. That it is also the same, but let's make it shorter. Okay, 
Okay. And unfortunately, this guy is I'm not gonna show it. Actually, this footage is not that got not, not that good, so I'm not going to show it. Here, in order to make it more dynamic, I would just change the order. So instead of showing the same, I would just modify so it shows like that, and it shows like that. This audio, I'm gonna take it down, it's too loud. And this one, I'm just gonna detach the audio, delete this one, and I can just detach the audio here, copy, and add it just before. Okay, in that way. He has some background. Yes, yeah. It's going to add a title, basic title. This is the one. That's way too long. You can move it to three seconds. It's fine. Okay, let's just pick one. I mean, this is just okay. I like this one. Let's just pick this one. Perhaps this one I can make it a little bit brighter. And normally for that. I would use the color wheels, not the color board. But then in this case, like I said, well, I can make it a little bit brighter. Highlights, not really, make it a little bit less. Midterms. All right. So how does this look compared? Yeah, it's a little bit brighter. This one, that's okay. This one actually needs a little bit of contrast. And let's see, shadows. Midterms and highlights a little bit down, and a little bit of saturation. Okay, that's it. When there is voice, normally what I do is that I detach the audio of the original file, and then I also add the audio bay. If the person recording used an external mic, then I would add also the the audio underneath, and then match the wavelengths. So these waves with the one from the video. So that way it's quicker. And then I also will add the subtitles because that's very important, basically. Okay, so hope it made clear the process I normally follow. And like I said, this is, was a very easy one, but I didn't want to extend more to myself on this video. Yeah, hope you have a good day and looking forward to hear from you. Bye for now.